Hey there, I don't know if you know this yet, but you could totally make breakfast in your slow cooker. It's actually one of my favorite ways to make breakfast, just because you throw the ingredients in the slow cooker, it's very easy to make, and you can make a delicious breakfast for a larger amount of people, special occasions, or if you just want a delicious filling breakfast or to meal prep. I'm going to be sharing five new recipes with you today. Let's go get started. To kick us off today, we are making my favorite sticky buns. So in this bowl right here, I have 3 fourths cup of melted butter, add in a half a cup of brown sugar along with a fourth a cup of normal sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. This is your cinnamon sugar mixture. Just mix it together super well until the sugar and the butter is combined. Now over to my slow cooker. I am lining it with a slow cooker liner. You don't have to do that, but this really helps with cleanup, especially with the sugar and then also it helps prevent food from like burning to the bottom of your slow cooker so I like using it for this recipe but just add in a half a cup of that cinnamon sugar mixture now add in one can of biscuits I'm using the buttermilk biscuits but you could use any biscuits you like and try not to have the biscuits overlap too much after you add all the biscuits into your slow cooker pour the remaining cinnamon sugar mixture over the top and this next part is optional but I am going to sprinkle a half a cup of chopped walnuts over everything. We like walnuts but if you don't like walnuts you certainly don't have to do that or you could add chopped pecans. Cook this on high for an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes or until the biscuits are cooked through. I know I'll be the first to admit they don't look like much once they're finished slow cooking, but serve them upside down and drizzle some of that cinnamon sugar mixture over the top. And oh man, these are absolutely so delectable. They're really delicious and the biscuits taste like homemade dough and that cinnamon sugar mixture is phenomenal. These are so, so good. Now we're making this classic hash brown breakfast casserole and I really love this one. So to the pan on my stove, I'm going to cook up half of this package of bacon or you could use sausage or ham, whatever you like. Now over to this bowl, I'm cracking in 12 eggs. After you add all of those eggs into your bowl, whisk them super well to break the yolks. Then add in one and a half cups of either heavy cream or half and half, whatever you like. I like to add in heavy cream just because it makes them extra creamy. Then add in a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. After this is well combined, just set this egg mixture to the side. Now that my bacon is cooked through, I'm just removing it to a plate lined with paper towels just to absorb any excess grease. Now over to my slow cooker, I'm spraying it with nonstick spray. Then add in a 30 ounce bag of hash browns. Now add in one diced green bell pepper and a diced white onion or any veggies that you like. Now I'm adding in the cooked bacon and give this a little stir. Make sure all of the veggies and bacon are not at the bottom of the slow cooker though. Then add the egg mixture on top and last I'm going to add one cup of shredded Mexican style cheese over everything. The cheese is optional. You don't have to add it if you don't love cheese like me. Cook this on low for about seven to eight hours or until the egg has set. Anytime I make this breakfast casserole, my husband Will goes absolutely crazy over it just because it is so good and flavorful. Also, if you're worried about making like too big of a batch of this, don't worry. You could save this super well in like different Tupperware containers or bags and keep it in the freezer. It's really great to meal prep. Now we're making the best ever apple cinnamon oatmeal. So to get it started, I am going to cut three apples into smaller pieces. You could use any type of apples that you like. I'm going to bring these apples now over to a bowl and just add them right in there. Next, add in two tablespoons of brown sugar or you could use any type of sweetener you like. You could use coconut sugar or anything. Now I'm adding in a tablespoon of cinnamon along with a third a cup of raisins or you could use dried cranberries or dates 
dates or anything after I gave this a stir I set it to the side now in this other bowl I'm adding in my two cups of old-fashioned oats along with four cups of water and to give this a stir I am going to set this to the side now and I pulled out my slow cooker add the apple mixture right into your slow cooker and I'm going to spread it out so it's covering the bottom then add the oats over the top and then you're going to cook this on low for about two hours or you could cook it on high for an hour or until your oats are through cooking every slow cooker just cooks a little bit differently keep that in mind This oatmeal is not your typical boring bland oatmeal. This oatmeal is so extremely delicious. It is super flavorful. Also, it is really great how you could just set the ingredients into your slow cooker and forget about it for a little while until you need to serve the breakfast or bring it to wherever you have to bring it. Now we're making these biscuits and gravy. So to the pan on my stove, I'm adding in one pound of sausage. You could use any type of sausage you like for this recipe. Break the sausage up and cook it through. While my sausage is cooking away, I am going to get started on the eggs. So into this big bowl, I'm going to crack nine eggs right in there. After you add the eggs in, just whisk them up to break the yolks. Now that my eggs are well combined and look like this, I'm going to go back over to the sausage on my stove and I'm going to remove any excess grease from the pan. I'm just doing it with a paper towel and a spatula. This works super well with grease if you haven't tried it yet. But back over to the eggs, I'm adding in a half a cup of shredded cheese. Also add in the cooked sausage and give this a stir. I want to let you know for any of these recipes today, you can make them your own by adding veggies, using different meats, or really doing anything you want. But I have a can of biscuits right here. I just cut them into smaller bite-sized pieces over to my slow cooker I do have it lined with a slow cooker liner just for easy cleanup just separate those biscuits out and then pour the egg mixture over the top cover this with a lid and let this cook on low for five to six hours or until the egg has set Once the cooking time is almost up, I got started on my gravy. So I just have a country gravy packet right here, but you can make gravy with your sausage. You can make gravy however you choose to do so, but I'm just making it pretty easy today with this country gravy packet. I just added it into my pot and I just added some water in there and I whisked it until it was thick and I let it simmer for a little while. But here's what it looks like after you take it out of your slow cooker, just pour some of that gravy over the top. This is super good. We actually had this for like breakfast for dinner. I like to do breakfast for dinner occasionally and this is like the most perfect breakfast for dinner. It's super filling, super delicious. This one is for all of my meatless meal friends. We are making this pesto spinach egg casserole. So into my big bowl, I'm adding in one cup of Bisquick baking mix. Next, add in one cup of milk along with eight eggs. Beat these ingredients together well. I'm using an electric hand mixer, or you could just use a whisk or anything to beat these ingredients together. Now add in one cup of chopped spinach along with a fourth a cup of pesto, one cup of mozzarella cheese that you shredded and then a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper give this a stir I'll set this to the side and I'm going to pull out my slow cooker. Spray your slow cooker with non-stick spray. This will help, of course, not stick and then help prevent burning. Add in three cups of diced frozen potatoes. Next, add in the egg mixture. Cook this on low for about five to six hours or until the egg has set in the middle. This will make your house smell so, so good. I sprinkled the top of mine with a little bit more mozzarella cheese. If you're a pesto fan and you're looking for like the best ever meatless meal egg casserole, this one is definitely for you. It is so delicious. Also, I just wanted to let you know I got more cookbooks in stock. The first batch sold out very quickly, so I am so excited to have more for you. You can find them at juliapacheco.com slash cookbook or click the link down below this video. I have so many more videos like this on my channel and I would love to have you here, so make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.